Without a goal, you can't score. Hey, it's Connor here in Kerry in the southwest of Ireland, the far southwest corner of Ireland, here for a few days with my family. And uh, the thought I wanted to share this week was something I heard on a podcast over the last while, and it was, without a goal, you can't score. And initially, I thought this is too obvious or stupid a thing, saying to even reflect on it, but I think it's quite a profound thing that so many people that I speak with, when I ask them, what do you want? Where do you want to be three years from now, five years from now, ten years from now? They can't answer it. They can vaguely answer it. They can answer it in a way that they imagine what it might be like. But they've not taken the time to really get clear what is their goal. And today on the podcast of Tim Ferriss, as we're driving from Dublin down here to the south of uh, southwest of Ireland, there was uh, someone asked, you know, who do you see as successful? I think it was Tim Ferriss was talking about a question he'd asked to Derek Sivers. And Derek Sivers, when asked, who comes to your mind when, when you think of success? And Derek Sivers, his initial answer was Richard Branson. But he paused for a moment. He says, but I don't know Richard Branson. I don't know what Richard Branson wants. I don't know whether Richard Branson grew up and the only thing he re really wanted in life was a quiet, peaceful life, not bothered so he could reflect. And what he got is, is cursed by being talented as an entrepreneur, that people want to speak to him, people want to be around him. Every business he touches turns out successful. And whilst another might look at it as a successful life, if you were Richard and if you wanted something else, that would not be a success. So this idea of being very careful to define what success is for you, what the goal is for you. And then I think taking time to live it, to experience it. I remember probably 20 years ago at a entrepreneurs organization conference in Las Vegas, the speaker was Steve Wynn. And Steve Wynn was the founder of three of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas. And he was talking about his teenage kids when they were growing up. He, he would spend time asking them, what do you want to be when, you're, when you grow up? What, what are you thinking about? And one of his kids says, I want to be in, in movie production. And Steve Wynn knew quite a few people in the movie industry. So he organized that his son could spend a week on a movie set. After a week on his movie set, Steve said to his son, what do you think? He said, I don't want to be in movies. So he experienced a week of what it really was like, this life of a movie producer, and decided the idea of being a movie producer I like, the reality, what you do Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what it looks like, what it feels like, where you, where you get to be in the world, how much freedom you have. Now that I don't like. So this idea, if you don't have a goal, you can't score. If you don't have a real clear goal, you know, in, in a soccer field, the goal isn't a vague thing down the end. It's a very clear marked area with a net. And you can see when the ball hits the net. In rugby, it's very clear what the victory condition, what scoring looks like. But in so many of our lives, we've not defined the goal. We've got a vague thing over there in the future that we're hoping will hit without really experiencing whether that is going to be what we hope it is. So uh, my reflection here, with a, without a goal, without a clear, you know, really clear goal, it's impossible to score and you're probably demotivated. If you don't have that goal, like playing football in a park without goals isn't, a, isn't football. Playing life without goals there that you can see. Uh, perhaps there's <laughs> a type of meditation I could do to accept that uh, peaceful acceptance. But for me, in my life, in building a business, in, in seeing where I want to take my life, my family, my community, I think using your mind to see where you want to go, adapting along the, line, uh, the way and changing the goal sometimes, but never being completely without a goal. So long rambling reflection here from the southwest of Ireland. Without a goal, you can't score. So here we've got uh, blackberries. Remember these from my childhood, picking them up as you went for walks. 
as a Cub Scout as a kid. <laughs> These kept going through the afternoons. Blackberries out in Kerry. Have a good one. Hope you uh, have a great week, great August. Summer's come to an end in the Northern Hemisphere. September's beginning, school is beginning. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares. Keeps me making these videos. Have a good one.